Howdy folks, uh, I know it's been a while since I made a, my last uh, video, but I figured I'd do a solar update. Um, I've added uh, 400 watt UL solar panels to the back of my garden shed here. Um, I did a different kind of uh, mounting method that I've seen on other YouTube videos. I used uh, Unistrut and their hardware uh, square washers. Um, bolts and it's uh, pretty rigid it's uh, pretty decent it's it's pretty good I just cut a little bit of a EMT kind of on the ends here to kind of keep this level over here so just keep that level um, I also put a ground lug on there and grounded it um, they're actually wired in um, series, um, six panels, which gives me roughly uh, 120 volts. Um, I have it all combined in a combiner box, and I have it ran back to uh, my new location. Since uh, Hurricane Sandy, I kind of moved everything around because we were getting flooded down underneath the house where I had the batteries so I moved the charge controller in this room here so that's the readings I'm getting um, currently floating um, I'm still 12 volt by the way for right now um, so that's my charge controller still have the sand tracks um, meter here for the batteries voltage percentage I went and I added this uh, midnight solar breaker box for the charge controller it's a little bit better than those uh, car audio f breakers that I've had I've had a lot of problems with them so figured I'd actually spend the money and get the better quality stuff so it's a 60 amp controller so it called for 60 amps coming in from the PV and 60 amps going out to the batteries and then um, right now I have this uh, cheapo Harbor Freight inverter um, this is just running my pond equipment right now um, sometimes, uh, usually in the, during Christmas time, I have, uh, the Christmas lights going off of this, uh, because I have it hooked to a timer inside. I kind of bypass this switch. I opened it up, bypass the switch, and hooked it to a timer so I can control it in the house. Um, so everything's grounded right now. Um, these cheapo ones, um, I did connect. I'm probably going to sell them though, because I'm, I want to go with an Outback, uh, grid tie, uh, battery backup unit, and probably I'm going to put it up above there. But I got to save up my money for that. Probably get some more panels too. Um, and then I'll show you my battery cabinet here. Yeah, this is my battery cabinet. Currently, I have six uh, six volt deep cycles, but um, this cabinet can hold 16. Um, so I'm gonna probably get some more of them, definitely. And um, I know it's I know I got my cables in the way of the water, but I can. Probably usually just shut everything down. I put everything on wing nuts so I can take it apart, check the water, all that. So that's what I'm going to do. Probably alternate the batteries, stuff like that. But, um, yeah. And then I got it going through a pipe, through the wall, to the back side of the charge controller. Um, everything is uh, 4 aught gauge wiring.
for the batteries and the inverters. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, this is my tester to test the batteries. It's in there for right now. But yeah, that's pretty much my update. And this is just a Rubbermaid um, cabinet that I bought. I think it's about 150 bucks or something like that. Maybe 100 bucks at uh, Home Depot. But that was way better than um, having it underneath the house where the floodwaters were getting kind of crazy. Luckily, luckily I didn't get flooded out, but it was darn close and kind of scary, frankly. But so I moved everything out here. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll keep you posted. Thanks.